Kanye Omari West, born June 8, 1977, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, record producer, entrepreneur, and fashion designer. His musical career has been marked by dramatic changes in styles, including an eclectic range of influences including soul, baroque pop, electro, indie rock, synth pop, industrial, and gospel. Over the course of his career, West has been responsible for cultural movements and progressions within mainstream hip-hop and popular music at large. Born in Atlanta and raised in Chicago, West first became known as a producer for Rockefeller Records in the early 2000s, producing hit singles for recording artists such as Jay-Z, Ludacris and Alicia Keys. Intent on pursuing a solo career as a rapper, Wes released his debut album The College Dropout in 2004 to widespread critical and commercial success and founded the record label Good Music. He went on to experiment with a variety of musical genres on subsequent acclaimed studio albums including Late Registration 2005, Graduation 2007 and the polarizing but influential 808s and Heartbeat 2008. He released his fifth album My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy in 2010 to further rave reviews and has since succeeded it with Yeezus. 2013, The Life of Pablo, 2016, and Yee, 2018. As well as full-length collaborations, Watch the Throne, 2011, and Kids See Ghosts, 2018, with Jay-Z and Kid Cudi, respectively. West's outspoken views and life outside of music have received significant media attention. He has been a frequent source of controversy for his conduct at award shows on social media and in other public settings, as well as his comments on the music and fashion industries, US politics and race. His marriage to television personality Kim Kardashian has also been a source of substantial media attention. As a fashion designer, he has collaborated with Nike, Louis Vuitton and APC, on both clothing and footwear, and have most prominently resulted in the Yeezy collaboration with Adidas, beginning in 2013. He is the founder and head of the creative content company Donda. In April 2020, it was reported Kanye had an estimated net worth of $1.3 billion by Forbes magazine. Kanye is worth $300 million more than little sister Kylie Jenner who last year had her billionaire status revoked by the business publication. But like Kylie, Kanye has built up his own brand using a lifelong passion. The musician spent his younger years at school sketching sneaker designs in class. Kanye launched Yeezy in 2009 with Nike, but took the line to Adidas in 213 who make, market and distribute the shoes. He makes most of his money from the footwear brand earning $140 million from Yeezy sales in 2019 alone. And in 2020, he signed a multi-year partnership for Yeezy with Gap, where he worked in store as a teenager for a line which will go live in 2021. Kanye and soon-to-be ex-wife Kim also have a lot of money in luxury real estate in LA, New York and Wyoming something which will soon be divided if their alleged divorce goes through this year. One said he's worth $6.6 .6 billion, the other $1.8 billion. But who's right? To get the facts right, he's never claimed any of this valuation. You may have seen a lot of headlines proclaiming that Kanye West now has a net worth of roughly $6.6 .6 billion, making him the wealthiest black person in America. But is this actually the case? Citing an over-reliance on theoretical future expectations, Forbes has disputed the widely publicized report of Kanye West having a net worth of approaching $7 billion. Several similarly worded reports from various publications arrive following a Bloomberg piece that mentioned Yeezy and Yeezy Gap as having a combined value of potentially $4.7 billion. Combined with additional assets, these reports listed West net worth at an estimated $6.6 .6 billion, which make him the richest black person in the US. 
According to a new report from Forbes staff writer Madeleine Burke, however, that's inaccurate. The financial publication's piece on Thursday said West, by their estimates, is actually worth about $1.8 billion. And while this does indeed mean the recent Jesus is King Grammy winner has seen substantial gains since May 2020, the figure does not equate to this week's aforementioned claims. As Berg explained, the Forbes dispute of the 6.6 .6 billion figure comes down to basing their calculations on current revenues instead of theoretical ones. Notably, the publication currently estimates the Yeezy gap at zero dollars due to the fact that no clothing has yet been made available for purchase. The report also states that Vista Equities' Robert F. Smith is still the richest black person in the U.S. with a Forbes estimated worth of six billion dollars. West, of course, has been critical of Forbes in the past. Last September, he was temporarily blocked from tweeting after sharing the phone number of an editor from the publication. And during an interview with Nick Cannon the same month, he referred to the publication as the most favorite white supremacists while discussing billionaire distinctions. And they cold, bro. <laughs> I, I, this, is my, this is like my most favorite white supremacist is Forbes. <laughs> Uh, is <laughs> tell me why, yeah? <laughs> because, bro, I just gotta like respect they gangster, bro, because they it's, they don't live in 2020. They act like it's 18, you know, hundred still, because mm. they'll be. The Forbes billionaires list values individuals' assets, including stakes in public and private companies, real estates, yachts, art, and cash. The contributors also take into account estimates of debt and consult an array of outside experts in various fields. Many of the billionaires who show up on the list are already high profile. So the list is reliable for people like Bill Gates, Oprah Winfrey and Warren Buffett. The Forbes list also tracks individuals, not families. So in families where wealth is distributed, the list can be a little less reliable. However, I don't think it's easy to get yourself added to or bumped up on the list. Plenty of people would like to inflate their wealth. After all, showing up on the Forbes list lends credibility, especially for relatively unknown people looking to raise money. Entry to the Forbes list requires reliable documentation. Above all, one thing we do know is Kanye West is a billionaire, but it's quite impossible to know what he's really worth. If you had to be candid with yourself, do you agree with Bloomberg that Kanye West is now the richest African American in history? Let us have your thoughts via the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, kindly hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can stay updated with fresh content as soon as we upload them. Thanks for watching. See you next time.